it is Sunday, about almost a quarter to midnight. So I figured why not record my very first episode of Confessions of a Mompreneur. Um, man, like I don't even know where to begin today. You know, first of all, kiddo leaves for camp tomorrow. Um, I leave for Rwanda for my first mission trip in three weeks, in the last week of raising money for it. And I literally am like, oh, and so, you know, part of being, you know, to being like a wife, a mom, an entrepreneur, um, active in the community, there's all these different things that sometimes really just pull on a lot of who you are. Just, you know, you feel like you're pulled in just a lot of different directions. And more and more I'm be feeling like trying to, I see myself searching for um, balance in, in trying to figure out like what's what. And, you know, the only thing I'm thinking about is like, I've got a basket full of socks that are absolutely ridiculously piled up months on backlog. And I'm pretty sure that hell consists of a basket full of socks that have yet to be matched. Convinced of it. But, you know, part of the thing, I, you know, I got only a few hours of sleep, you know, last night because I was working on stuff. You know, tonight's likely going to be another late night. And I don't know, like, you know, there's these moments where you love everything that you do. And then there are days like today, you know, where, you know, I've had church, you know, I had a client fire um, in the middle of the day and um, dealing with that. Plus, you know, finishing up the last minute things, making sure the kiddo has everything that she needs before um, she heads out. All of these things, I'm like, I didn't even eat dinner. <laughs> I forgot to eat dinner. And it's, it's one of those, it's one of those, um, it's one of these moments where you're just trying to figure it all out. And I know some people are like, oh, Monday, I actually love Mondays. I, I used to have a love and hate relationship with Mondays, but I love Mondays because it's, it's more or less kind of the hustle of bustle. And now I find myself, you know, feeling like I need to go to the next level in my business, the next levels in my life. And what does that actually look like now? Um, I never saw myself as a creative, but you know, I was doing some video editing. Uh, I got like a freaking eyelash guys. It's just driving me crazy. Um, I, I literally, um, I loved every second of it and I was surprised how easily and quickly I had picked up on it. Now, granted, I've been studying it for a while, but to actually live edit a video. Um, was a lot easier than I thought and so I'm balancing like what's been you know what I've known my company pretty geeky to be um, and now I have this level of creative um, this creativity bug um, that has really taken hold of me plus everything else and how do you balance and how do you pick and what's what um, knowing what to pursue what not to pursue um, what to focus on, not to focus on. And then you just have like these other things like, I don't know, husband, daughter, uh, laundry, dishes. Like, it's just, y'all, it's exhausting. Uh, I, I don't say that often. Um, but what's weird is I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. And so I have to constantly remind myself of this, of my why and what it is that I'm that I'm going to do and not stressing so much about the things that actually don't matter. Um, the laundry will get done eventually. We may have socks and we may not, but what's funny is my family actually doesn't <laughs> complain about it. Um, you know, some days we outsource, some days I cook. That's what I, I call it. Outsourcing is my secret, guys. Like, outsourcing is just makes me feel better about going out to eat, but outsourcing is eating out. Um, we may outsource dinner, um, or you know, we have a couple of quick options. Today was one of those days where everybody got quick options. And I'm feeling so awesome and doesn't complain about it. And then I'm thinking, like, 
well, what am I complaining about? Like, what's the deal? You have an opportunity to build your dream. You know, you have your family. They love you unconditionally. Like, what's the issue? And I think it becomes, you know, how do we look at ourselves? Are we trying to measure up um, against other people and what other people's standards are and what people um, think or feel like we should be all the time versus what works for your family and what works for you and what your your goals are and your vision and that's that's what I'm trying to remember to hold to and um, and really just like doing things full steam ahead unafraid I mean I don't know guys like it's gonna be interesting to watch this journey I really want to chronicle um, Gary Vee is one of the guys that I look up to so much and um, I don't know like it's I look up to him a lot and so you know he talks about document don't create document don't create and I love the creating but I also know I need to document and trying to find the balance between the two um, because I am a creator and I'm learning that I'm a creator and creative and so it's finding this balance between the two but being important about just putting things out putting myself out there and so I guess this is like confession of a mompreneur episode one um, of vlogs to come um, but man I'm just I was just feeling the stress so I figured I'd pop on and chat um, but if you're a mom and you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to figure it out you know the goal is um, don't stress uh, take a breath take a moment like for me you know I've gotten the kid about 80% packed so I'll check off my list you know I've got client stuff I'll touch bases with them um, and I'll take a moment and I'll get still and get quiet and pray and um, after I eat at midnight which is horrible guys um, but nonetheless I I'm excited about whatever this is that's coming because I know that that's what I feel like I'm preparing for um, but nonetheless it's cool I'm just gonna take it one day at a time one moment at a time and and figure it out as I go and you know who's to say you know these little late night chats maybe or just you know these moments um, but you've got to stay focused and I've got to stay focused because there's somebody relying on you to build your dream. Um, it's up to you to build it because there are other people who need to hear things. I feel like this has kind of went longer than I wanted to this first one, but what's to say? Um, stay focused, uh, stay energized. Um, I'm maybe one day I'll finish this basket full of socks or I throw them all out and we start from scratch. I don't know. I don't know yet guys um, but with that being said um, my first confessional <sighs> y'all I'm tired but um, it's a lot to be done in a short amount of time so you know I just stay focused and grind um, fill up when and where I can you know uh, for me that's music quiet time prayer reading my Bible um, finding those little pockets, making sure I'm spending time with my family um, and my friends. Those are all things that fill me up. Um, so I'm excited. And that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Much love and peace. Take care.